We're going to go to St. John the ninth chapter. <clears throat> St. Mark, the eighth chapter. Amen. Thank God for being saved this morning. We just want to want to say what God said. Want to get our help this morning. Amen. 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 All right. St. John, the eighth chapter. All right. Mark. Listen at this now. Mark. All right. Uh, St. Mark. I'm sorry. St. Mark, the eighth chapter. Amen. Um, we'll start reading at verse number one. Read down to verse number nine. Listen at this now. In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat. Jesus called his disciples unto him and said unto them. Right, so listen now. So the multitude being very great, Jesus called his disciples because Jesus already know what the situation is. Mm -hmm. Jesus calls the disciples because he already know what the situation is. The disciples didn't have to figure out anything. We're going to read it. Keep reading. I have compassion. Listen, I have compassion on the multitude. On the multitude. My sister. Right? Because they have now been with me three days. Listen, I have compassion on the multitude because they have now been with me three days. And have nothing to and eat. And have nothing to eat. Jesus is a compassionate Savior. Amen. He's a compassionate Savior. He sees what the need is. Even before, even before we ask him, he already knows. That's it. Even before we pray, he already knows what it is. And he's compassionate. Amen. Amen. Keep reading. And if and if I send them away Listen, fasting. And if I send them away fasting to their, own houses, to their own houses, they will faint by the way. They will faint by the way. For divers of them come from far. Listen, Jesus knew their situation, right? And we can talk about the many miracles and, 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 and the different things, but I just want to focus on this for a minute. Jesus being a compassionate Savior also teaches us how to be compassionate saints. People think they're getting over. People think they're getting over. And Jesus is saying, listen, Jesus is saying, I'm a compassionate God. I'm a compassionate Savior. I know what you're going through, and I can help you because I am a compassionate Savior. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. So when we get saved, when we're baptized into the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, and we rise up new creatures, we also have the spirit of compassion. Right? The Bible says, bear ye one another's burden. Why? Because we're compassionate. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Ye which are spiritual, restore one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thyself, lest thou also be tempted. We're compassionate. Right? Yeah. When we deal with situations, we deal with it in a compassionate way, even when we're placing judgment. Mm -hmm. For that reason, people think we don't see what's going on. But God say, I want you to use a certain, I want you to use some compassion right here. See, never think that you can get over on the same. Right. Because you can't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. Especially not a standing pastor in the church of God. He can literally stand you up and just strip your life down and tell you things that you don't even know about yourself. Mm -hmm. If God tell him to. Yes. But God had to tell him to do it. Yeah. The Bible says, God says, shall I hide this thing from Abraham? Seeing he will command his house after me. He will command Amen. his children after me. Amen. Did not, did not uh, Amos, I will bless. He said, God revealed his secrets unto his prophets. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? Did, did not God tell Moses what's going on? Mm -hmm. did, did not God tell Joshua what was going on? Yes. 
God told Joshua, get up off your face. See? Mm -hmm. What? Get up off your face. Yeah. I lost, Lord God, you sent us to die before our enemies, Lord God. God said, get up off your face. Israel have sin. Huh? So God will let the man of God know. But he'll let him know, okay, I, I, this is the direction I want you to take. See, it scares me when God deal with me like that because I already know he's not playing. Mm -hmm. See? 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 The Bible say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. Huh? See, see, the devil can come at you and God will be with you. You got help. But when you got God on one side and devil on the one side, God angry with you and the devil hates you, then what you gonna do? Bad situation. Huh? What you, what you gonna do? Isaiah 1, the scripture says, Amen. When I called you, I believe Proverbs 1, he said, When I called you, none, 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 none answer. Hmm. Huh? He said, When your calamity come upon me, I'm gonna laugh at you. Listen now. The devil on one side laughing. And God on the other side laughed. Read it, because somebody don't believe it's there. That was the Holy Ghost told me, read that, because somebody don't believe the Bible says that. Read that scripture over there in Proverbs 1, and write, write around 27. 26. What is it? Proverbs 126. See? 126, read it. What did it say? I also will laugh at your calamity. Why? Read the scripture will before that. Your fear comes. Why? Keep reading. We just read on down. Are you 25? No, uh, 27, I'm sorry. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction See? cometh as a whirlwind, See? when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, See? but I will not answer. See, I'm not going to answer. See, people say, I, I, I can call on God anytime I want to. Did you, ever, did you ever read that scripture? Listen. This is this my the best time or what's the right time for me to answer God when he's, when he talk, when he's talking to me? Mm -hmm. How do I know when to get saved? Well, just by you asking that question, God tells you to get saved. That's how you know it's time to get saved. That's the time. That's the time to get saved. That's the time to listen. He's talking to me. That's the time. He said, I'm going to laugh at your calamity. Because when I called you, you refused. I wanted to help you, but you rejected me. Now it's your time. Now it's time for you to call on me because you got no help. Now I'm going to reject you. Huh? Isaiah 4, the, Isaiah 4, the Bible says, hell have enlarged yourself. Hell has enlarged herself. She's opened up her mouth. She's enlarged herself. Mm -hmm. Why? Because everybody listening to God? I don't think so. No. She enlarged herself because people don't want to listen. Yeah. Keep reading. Uh, and uh, Matthew. In, 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 in Matthew. Uh, Mark. I'm sorry. In Mark uh, 8. Mark 8 and 4. And his disciples answered him, From which can a man satisfy these men with bread here listen now. in the wilderness? So his disciples asked him, Whence can a man do this? A man can. Right. Man. Whence can a man do this? I, of my own self, and can do nothing. nothing. Listen. Of my own self, as a natural man, I can't help you. Can't do nothing. I need help. As the anointed of God is different. Amen. But God places me to do just that. Help you in your life. As a natural man, I'm just like you. If you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Right? As the anointed of God, it's different. Man. Why would you say that? Because every man can't help you. He has to be anointed by God to do it. Yeah. 
there was only one that could save this world from sin. Only one. one. Only one. If there could have been somebody else, don't you think God would have sent them? Yes. One. Jesus, the Son of God, came to die for the sins of the world. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4, the Bible says that he gave some apostles, some prophets, some pastors, some teachers, some evangelists for the perfecting of the saints. Jeremiah 3 and 14 and 15, the Bible said God will give you pastors according to his heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Over there in Ezekiel 33, he said, if they were called by God, they would have turned from your evil. How do you know he's called by God? Because he can help your life. How do you know he wasn't called by God? Because you're still in your sin. He can't deliver you from sin. You have no power to stop sin. St. John 17, 1 and 2, Jesus said, my Father's given me power over all flesh. Mm -hmm. St. John 1 and 29, the Bible said, and the Lamb of God coming, which taketh away the sin of the world. St. Matthew 1, 21, and she shall bring forth the Son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for you shall save his people from their sin. Matthew 5 and 48, the Bible says, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Not perfect, perfect now. <laughs> perfect. Amen. St. John 1, 11 and 12, the Bible says, He came unto his own, his own received him not. But for as many as received them, him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to those that believe on his name. Amen. Amen. Let's read this. And we're going to go over to 1 John 3 and, and see what the Lord say after that. For, uh, read St. John, I'm sorry, read uh, St. Matt, Mark, that was a lie. St. Mark, the 8th chapter, verse number 7. 7. And, and is that, no, I'm sorry, verse number 5. five. Yeah. Verse number 5. And he, had, and he asked them, how many loaves had he? And they said, seven. Okay, and he asked them, how many loaves have you? And they said seven, keep reading. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. Listen, Jesus commanded the people to sit down. Keep reading. And he, told the se and, he told, and he took the seven loaves. And he took the seven loaves. And gave thanks. And gave thanks, and what happened? And break, and gave it to his disciples. And he did what? He broke it and gave it to the disciples. Jesus told the people to sit down, but Jesus commanded the disciples to feed the people. Mm -hmm. Jesus commanded them to sit down, but he gave the commandment to the disciples to feed the people. Mm -hmm. And gave to the disciples to set before them, and they did set. They argued with him. Well, this ain't enough. No, and they did. No, this ain't seven. enough. We got seven loans. Don't you see all these people? It's not enough. Pastor, don't you see? Can you just do what I'm telling you? Right. Yeah. Amen. He just do it. And he gave them, gave to his disciples to set before them. He gave to his disciples to set before and them. And they did sit them before the people. The disciples didn't understand. They said, whence can a man feed all these people? So they did but, eat and were filled. Listen, were you not with me when I said the daughter just sleeping? Were you not with me? Right. When the two blind men followed me and I healed them, was you not with me? Was you not with me? Mm. When the woman touched my garment, where were you? Mm. And you still calling me a man? My Lord. That's all I am to you as a man? But you don't understand, so I'm wrong with something. All right. Clinton now, she would 
Y'all not telling me to do that. You don't understand. Okay. Pastor. Okay. Right. Let's do this right here. See, he, he, he thinks I'm right. <laughs> hey, man, let's move on. <laughs> hey, man. And, Come on. And so they did eat and were filled. They did eat and were filled. And they took up the broken meat that was left, seven baskets. Seven baskets. Ain't that a blessing? Jesus, he works miracles. That's what he does. He works miracles every, every day a soul gets saved, a miracle is being performed. Huh? Keep reading. And they that had eaten were all or about four thousand. About four thousand. And he sent them away. Now it's time for them to go. Amen. First John, the third chapter. Lord say the same. We're gonna end with that. First John. I, let's before we go to first John, let's go to Hebrews, Hebrews 5, right quick. I just I want to read this scripture. Hebrews the fourth. Five. Fourth chapter. We're going to go to fourth, the fourth chapter. Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Hebrews, the fourth chapter, verse number um, number 14 down to verse number 16. Seeing then that we have a great high right, priest. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, what? That is passed, is passed into, the heavens. into the heavens. Keep reading. Jesus, the Son Jesus, of God. Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our let profession. Let us hold fast our profession. Don't be wavering. Don't be up and down. The Bible said, double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Don't be double minded. Be steadfast, unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Over 1 Corinthians 15. Be steadfast, unmovable. The course God sets you on, stay on it. Don't move. <clears throat> Amen. Storms became strong. I was still holding on. I, I learned this, this one thing to do. Hold a little tight. <clears throat> the billows may roll. Hold a little tighter to the line. Keep reading. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the passed heavens. Passed the heavens. Amen. Jesus, the Son of God, <clears throat> let us hold fast our profession. Amen. Keep reading. For we have not an high priest that cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. Amen. Keep reading. But was in all points was in all tempted, points tempted like as we are, as we are, yet without sin. Keep reading. Let us Amen. therefore come boldly, boldly unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time, in time of, need. of need. Amen. Amen. All right. That's what we want, right? Okay. Let's go over to um, 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 uh, No, let's go to uh, 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 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, real quick. 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. I believe it is. That's the one I want. First Corinthians 10th chapter. First Corinthians the 10th chapter. Alright. First Corinthians the 10th chapter. Amen. Alright. 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 First Corinthians the 10th chapter. Let's start reading at verse number uh Verse number 13 and 14. There have no temptation. That, there has sorry, no what? No temptation. There's had no temptation. Taking you but such as common to man. Keep reading. But God is, but faithful, God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted Amen. above what you are able. Keep reading. But will, will, with the temptation, also make a way of escape. Amen. Also make a way of escape. Read verse that number 14. He, that ye may be able to bear it. Amen. See, God make a way of escape that we'll be able to bear it. He won't allow us to be suffered above that which we are able. Read verse 14. Wherefore, Wherefore my dearly, my dearly beloved, beloved, flee from idolatry. Amen. Flee from idolatry. Stop loving yourself. Love God. Amen. All right. First John the third. Actually, let's go to, we're going to go to Hebrews the 10th chapter. Hebrews 10 right quick. Then first John and Lord say the same. We're gonna be closing out here. Um, Hebrews the tenth chapter, right? Sorry, Hebrews the ninth chapter. 
27 and verse 28. Hebrews 9, 27 and 28. Then we're going to go to 10 and we're going to read uh, verse number um, 23 down to number uh, 20, uh, 26. Hebrews 9, 27 and 28. As it is appointed unto man once to die. All right. As it is appointed unto men. Once to die. Once to die. But after this. After the this. Come to judgment. Amen. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. Keep reading. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin. Without unto sin. Unto salvation. Unto salvation. You got sin. You don't see him. And you won't. You got sin. You don't see Christ. And you won't. Amen. Let's go to Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verse number 23, down to verse number 26. Let us go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Verse number 22, down to verse number 26. Hebrews 10 and 22. Let us draw near with true heart. What what that say? Let us draw near with a true heart. See, that's why a lot not here, because they're not drawing near with the true heart. You got to draw near with the true heart. You got to be honest with God and get the help you need. Let us draw near with the true heart. Keep reading. In full assurance, in full of, assurance faith, of faith. Amen. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. An evil conscience. And our bodies washed with pure See, water. See, you got to be washed with pure water. Amen. Keep your mind, your heart. God cleanses you. He washes you. He don't save you and keep you with the same mind. He gives you a new mind, a new heart, and a new spirit, which is after him. Keep reading. Um, let, uh, us let, us fast. Fast. let us hold fast the profession, the profession of, our of our faith without, without wavering. For Amen. He, why? For he is faithful to that a, promise. That's why I'm not wavering because what God promised me, he's going to do it. Keep reading. Um, uh, and let us consider one let another. Let us consider one another to provoke, to provoke unto, unto love, love and, and good, good works. works. Amen. Keep reading now. Not forsaking the Listen, assembly, not forsaking the assembly of, of ourselves together, as a manner of some is. As a but manner what? of some is. But what? But, but exhorting one another. Why? And so much more. So much more Amen. as you see the day approaching. And that's what we're doing. That's why we don't forsake the assembly of ourselves together. Because we're provoking one another to love, love and good works. We're exhorting one another not to waver, to hold fast because Christ is coming back. Time is drawing near. No man knoweth the day or the hour. He said, well, when you see these things, you know the time is near. Yeah. Amen? Keep reading. For if we sin willfully. If we sin willfully. After that we have received the, the knowledge, knowledge of the truth. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. There remaineth no more sacrifices for sin. Can't get no plainer than that, right? Amen. First John, the third chapter. First John, the third chapter. Amen. Start reading that verse number four and then read down to verse number 11. If the Lord say the same, we're going to go ahead and conclude. Start verse number four down to verse number 11. Listen at this now. Whoever committed sin. Well, what does it say? Whoever. Well, what's it say? What, who, whosoever. Whosoever. God said he's not a respecter of persons over there in Romans, the uh, second chapter. God is not a respecter of persons. Whosoever. Come I don't on. care if it's me. Whosoever. Whosoever. I don't care who you are. Whosoever. Committed sin transgresses against the law. Transgresses also the, the law. law. I'm sorry. Transgress also the law. Transgresses also the law. So what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. But let's narrow it down. Keep reading. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. Keep reading. And you know that he was manifested. Oh, listen at this now. Can't nobody stop sin. That's what people say. That's what religion say. Can't nobody stop sin. All right. We all got sin, right? Uh -huh. That's what religion say. What does the Bible say? And ye know that he was manifested. And ye know that he was manifested. To take away <coughs> our sin. To make us better. To take away our sin. To make us more religious. To take away our sin. He was manifested to do what? Take away our sin. Uh-huh. And in him. And in him. Is no sin. No sin. How do be in Christ and have sin? And Christ don't have no sin. He was manifested to take away our sin. But I say I know the man and I'm in Christ and I'm committing sin. But he was manifested to take away our sin. Mm -hmm. He was manifested to take away our sin. But religion teach you, you still got sin. We always got sin. We just repent. We just ask God to be us because you know our heart. <laughs> He was 
manifest it. To take away our sin. What? And in him, and in him is no sin. No sin. There's no sin in Christ. There's no sin in Christ. I'm in Christ. I got no sin. I can't be in Christ and have sin because in Christ is no sin. James 4 17 says, To him that knoweth to do good and doeth not, to him it is sin. Mm -hmm. Well, what is sin? Sin is what you know is sin, what you know is wrong. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth not, to him it is sin. Sin is a transgression of God's law. We just read it. Keep reading. <laughs> and whosoever, whosoever, abided in him. Listen at this. I don't even have to preach this. I don't even have to preach this. This is self explanatory. We just got to be honest. See, we got to come with a pure heart, an honest heart. Listen. Whosoever, whosoever, abided in him, abided in him, sinneth not. Oh. Whosoever abide to him sinneth not. Keep reading. Whosoever sinneth. Uh oh, whosoever sinneth. Have not seen have him. Have not seen him. Neither know him. Neither know him. That's the Bible now. Whosoever whosoever doeth sin have not seen him, neither know him. People say, yeah, yeah, I, you ain't taking my salvation from me. I'm not taking it from you because you never had it. <laughs> you ain't got no salvation. You came to church. You never repented for your sins. You never got right with God. You don't have any salvation. Okay, listen. Listen now. People say, well, Pastor Duke, now, how you going to tell somebody they don't have no salvation? Okay, listen to me now. What? Listen. If, if you're committing sin, we read in the Bible that Jesus was manifested to take away our sin, and him is no sin. And you say, you say, but you still got sin, then tell me what are you saved from? Right. What you, you have to be saved from something. What you saved from? If everybody got sin and nobody can be free from sin, what are you saved from? You have to be saved from something. Like my past said, you saved from God. <laughs> you ain't saved in Christ. See, see, that's why I talk so much about religion. Because that's what religion teaches people. So that's the mindset they got. I can still do what I want to do. I just ask God to forgive me. Let me, t let me tell you how you know just in yourself that ain't right. Listen to me now. Just let somebody do whatever they want to do to you and just keep asking your forgiveness. Are you going to accept it? No, you ain't. God ain't either. And listen to me now. Listen now. Just let people do whatever they want to do and you just forgive them. Yeah, you just did that. You just did that to me yesterday. Did he you gonna come again today? You gonna do it again? Your brother Robert, just forgive me. Ah, brother, just forgive me. You know, I'm gonna hit you in the head again. <laughs> Listen, you know people say people say God give you five senses. Well, I agree. He give you five senses. He let you know that ain't right. You ain't gonna let somebody just keep coming up just hitting you in your head. Amen. Talking about forgive me. Yeah, forgive me, you're gonna stop hitting me in my head. <laughs> that law is against, I'm calling the police. You're gonna take some action. Well, how about God? We get that principle from God, don't we? God just gonna let us do anything we want to do and set us in the heaven, but we're gonna call the police on somebody that keep hitting us in the head. That don't make sense. That makes sense, right? Amen. See, people like to play games. And religion gives them that opportunity to do so. That's why you could go to church this morning. Like I say, cooking. Got three kids. While she's been here in church. Right? Mitchell, they'll gang bang. Cheryl, still doing it. That's our sister in the Lord. She ain't no sister in the Lord. Then our sister in the Lord doing it. 
can't smoke weed and be saved. It's come from the earth. Your plan. <laughs> it's come from the earth. It ain't come from the earth. God created it. It got to be right. People like to play. It come from the earth. Well, let me give you another earth scripture. And when you die, your body going back to the earth. But your soul, I'm going to stand before God and give an account for what you did in this life. Leave a, when the prophet said that, that uh, clearly I said that, uh, uh, that, that no discharge in this war. Amen. Uh, no discharge in this war. That, Amen. Uh, that, 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 uh, I'm going to read that scripture right quick. I mean, Ecclesiastes, the 8th chapter. It's real briefly. We're going to come right back to First John 3. Ecclesiastes, the 8th chapter, I think it is. No, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, right? Listen, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, we're going to come right and come back to this scripture right here. Then we the Lord say the same. We will finish first John 3. Ecclesiastes 12 chapter. Listen at this now. Ecclesiastes 12 chapter, verse number 7. 12 and 7. Then we're going to read 13, 14. We're going to go back to 1 John 3. Listen at this now. Ecclesiastes 12 chapter, verse number 7. Ecclesiastes 12. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Quick. Um, verse 7. Verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth. All right, see? So I'm going to See, let's talk about the earth. Then shall. What? The dust return to the earth. See, this is going to return back to the earth. <laughs> As it was. As it was. What do you mean by that? Because God, He took Adam and formed him from the dust of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. He breathed the breath of uh, uh, life. Uh, a life until He became a living soul, right? Eve came from the rib of Adam, but Adam came from where? The earth. It's going back to the earth, right? Keep reading. Um, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Oh, spirit going to return unto God who gave it. Read verse 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion let's, of the whole matter. Let's hear the conclusion matter. of the whole matter. Fear God. Fear God. And keep his keep commandments. Keep his commandments. Why? For this is the whole duty of man. This is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Fearing God and keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. Keep reading. For every, for God shall bring every work for into God judgment. God shall bring every work into judgment. With, with, with good secret. With, with, every good, with every secret. With every secret. Thing. Read it again. Verse good. 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment. For God shall bring every work into judgment. I'm sorry. Give me. For okay. God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, Keep whether it be good or whether it be evil. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. I'm going to stand before God and be judged for it. I know what my judgment is. I'm going to have to figure it out. I have to wait till my deathbed. I don't have to get no prayer on my deathbed. I, I have to figure out the good and the bad. No, no. I, I know what my judgment is going to be because I know how I live. Right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know how I live. Psalm says, my name is in the book of life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I rise above all doubt and strife and read my title clear. He lives. Amen. Amen. Read my title clear. You have false religion. You can't read your title clear because everybody got a different title. Baptist, Protestant, Methodist, Pentecostal, Seventh-day Adventist, Mormon, Judaism, Buddhist, The family whom God have named in heaven and earth. That's what Ephesians 2 say, right? God named the family. Where all this other stuff come from, man made. Let's go back to 1 John 3. Let's finish up there. Amen. 1 John 3. And where we at? Uh, verse verse numbers. First, we read verse 5. Number 6, I'm sorry. Number 6, go ahead. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. See, whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen have him. Have not seen him. Neither know him. I don't care what people tell you. They say they know God if they commit sin. They don't. The Bible say they don't know God. Keep reading. Why? Because God don't know me doing sin. He saves me from sin. Then I get to know him. Not committing sin. God say, I don't know you commit sin. You can't be a part of me committing sin. See, I like to use natural scenarios. What woman gonna stand at the altar 
and and and, and, uh, and, and she say she say her vows how she loved him. He say, well, I love somebody else. I want to marry you, but I want to marry her too. Who, who gonna do that? Ain't, ain't, ain't none of us gonna do it, right? <laughs> huh? You're not gonna accept that. So why God God gotta accept me loving him and the devil? Mm -mm. How, how is that? I got a principle. It's gonna be me or nothing. But but God gotta accept anything from me. But, but I'm gonna tell somebody else. It's it's me or nothing. Pick pick. You love her. You love him. You love him. You love her. Pick. Make your choice. But God gotta accept anything. Mm -hmm. Huh? Keep reading. Little children. Little children. Let no man deceive you. Listen, don't let no man deceive you. Don't let no man tell you something contrary to what the scripture is saying. Don't let no man deceive you. A man that deceives you doesn't come from Christ. He's of the devil. The man of God will never deceive you. He's going to tell you the truth, whether if you like it or not. Keep reading. He that doeth righteousness. Oh, here we go. He that doeth is righteous, righteous is righteous. Even as he I'm not righteous. righteous of myself. I'm righteous because I'm following righteousness. Yeah. Not of myself. I'm not self-righteous. I'm righteous because I'm following righteousness. He's righteous as he is righteous. Keep reading. <coughs> he that committed he that sin, committed sin uh -oh. is of the devil. Uh -oh. He that committed sin is of who? The devil. The devil. Uh -oh. For the devil sinned from the beginning. The devil sinned from the beginning. Never in heaven. Never. He sinned it from the beginning. Keep reading. For this purpose. For this purpose. The Son of God, the Son of God was, manifested. was manifested. Why did he what? That he might destroy the works of the destroy devil. Destroy the works of the devil. Keep reading. Verse number nine. Whosoever is born of God. Listen, whosoever is born of God. Does not commit sin. Does not commit sin. Keep reading. For his seed, his seed remaineth in him. In him. He, he cannot sin. sin because why? He's born of because God. he's born of God. He got the seed of God. He got the spirit of God in him. Amen. Keep reading now. And this. want to make this plain now. And this the children of God see, are manifested. See, people say we are children of God. Let's read that again. The people say we are children of God. Religion say we are children of God. Let's read it. And this and this the children of God are manifested. Listen, the children of God? And the children of the devil. Oh, you mean there's two children in this world. The children of God and the children of the devil. Keep reading. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. It's not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Read verse 11 and stop. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that if we love one another, that we should love one another, that we should love one another. St. John 9 and 31, and then we're done. Amen. I wanted to go to this scripture early. St. John 9 and <coughs> 31. No, not, not actually 31. Um, yep, it is, 9 and 31. That's what I wanted. St. John 9, 31, read all the way down to 41, and we're, we're done. That's it. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Oh, listen now. <clears throat> People commit sin. I've been praying. I know God heard my prayer when you committing sin. What does the Bible say? Now we know that God heareth now not sinners. Now we know sinners. that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him yeah. he hear. Those are the ones God hearing. Keep reading. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened his eyes <laughs> opened the eyes opened the eyes of one that was born blind keep reading now if this man were not of god he could do nothing listen, listen to what the, the the one jesus healed that was blind and now he can see listen to what he's saying if this man wasn't of god i won't be able to see right how could you say he's not of god he just opened my eyes him that was physically blind he just opened his eyes how could you say he's not of god yeah if the person has taken you from where you were and placed you where God wants you to be, how could you say they wasn't of God? Yeah. You might not like them, but you can't say they wasn't of God because they are. They are. They did what they were supposed to do. They turned you from your evil. Keep reading. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach so, us? Who listen? You and was born in sin. Now you gonna try to teach us? 
and they cast him out. Cast him out for telling them Jesus opened my eyes. For telling them Jesus wasn't just a natural man. They cast him out. Listen now. Listen, let me show you how powerful this is. They say you, this, this man was, they knew him. He was blind from his birth. All these years, all these years, you sit here and see this person, they on drugs and out, they all this, all this, and God turned their life around and you cast them out. I don't believe that. You just saw them your whole entire life and you don't believe after you see their life turn? Know who she used to be. Won't accept her. Know who she used to be. Won't accept her. Know who she used to be. Won't accept her. Won't accept the testimony. Did not do something that you we you receive uh, uh, we we uh, we speak that we know and we testify that we have seen and you receive not our witness. Mm. In Saint John, I think three and eleven. We speak that we know, we testify that we sing, you receive not our witness. What greater witness do you need? Somebody blind from their birth. They, you've been knowing them all these years and they stand there looking at you just like, you, you don't still don't believe? <laughs> you, you don't believe? Not only do you not believe, but we're going to cast you out. Mm -hmm. It's why people get in trouble. See, God give a witness evil heart of unbelief, right? Keep reading. We're Jesus, almost done. Jesus heard that they had cast him out and when he and when he had found him, he said unto him, dost thou believe on the Son of God? Keep reading. He answered and said, who is he? Lord, that I may believe on him. Keep reading. And Jesus said unto him, thou hast both seen, seen him, him and it is he that talketh with thee. Keep reading now. And he I said, Lord, Lord, I believe I believe and he reading. Worshiped him. Amen. And he worshiped him. Amen. He wasn't fighting him, he worshiped him. Amen. Keep reading. And Jesus said, For, for, for judgment, judgment, I am come into the world. Listen, you can't judge me. <laughs> you can't judge me. Jesus said, For judgment, I came. That they which see not might see. Keep reading now. And that they would see might, might be, be made blind. blind. Keep reading. Might be blind. Keep reading. Um, I mean, made blind. And, and some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Listen, listen what the Pharisees saying. Are we blind also? They knew what Jesus was talking about. Are we blind also? Keep reading. Jesus said listen unto now. them, If ye were blind... You should have see, no sin. See, if you if you were blind, you should have no sin because you'd be ignorant. Mm -hmm. But now you say we see. We see. Therefore, therefore your sin remaineth. Therefore your sin remaineth because you say you see. So that's why you got to be careful about saying God know my heart. You got to be, see? Trust me, he does. Listen, listen to what Jesus told him. See, if, listen, he said, Jesus said, if you were blind, you should have no sin. You should be okay. Because you don't see it. But since you say you see it, sin remains. You can't say you don't know because you see it. You can't say I don't know. You see it. It's manifested unto you. You're rejecting it. Therefore, your sin remains. Amen. We thank God for being saved. Appreciate God for his goodness. Amen. I delivered my soul, said what God had me to say. Sometimes I have God change my message right when I'm preaching. Oh, well, <laughs> that's what God want to do. God know what people need to hear, not what he want to say. What I want to say is what God want me to say because he know what people need to hear to get the help they need. So we thank God for being saved and appreciate everybody that logged on to the website, came on that service with us. Amen. Yeah, you know, the devil say, um, they will say, man, you point it on off of thick, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Because because we're in a time where it, we don't have time to play games. We got to be honest with God and we got we to get the help that we need. Because the Bible says, Jesus said, he said, behold, I come quickly. Listen, quickly. Jesus said, behold, I come quickly. Just one, just one more scripture here. Just, just 
Think about this, mm -hmm. right? Just think about this now. God's talking to somebody. You should listen. Now listen at this. Revelation 22. Just, just bear with me. Listen at this now. Listen at this now. God want me to share this. I'm going to do it. Revelation 22, starting at verse number 7. We're going to read down to verse number 13. Listen at this. Start at verse number 7. Listen at this now. Behold, I come quickly. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, verse number 6. And he said unto me. All right. And he said unto me. These, these sayings are faithful and true. Listen. These sayings are faithful and true. You got to accept them. They're faithful and true. Keep reading. And the Lord God. Of the, the holy prophets, listen, and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels, have sent his angels to show unto his servants. I'm showing you. The and thing. I'm telling you. You need to get saved. And you, you need to have a life acceptable unto God. Religion won't get you into heaven. Salvation will. Amen. Religion won't help you. Matter of fact, religion will cause you to be lost forever. False religion. What man has set up here in the earth. Keep reading. Service to the th show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Keep reading now. Behold. Behold. I come quickly. I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings. Of the prophets of this book. And the prophecy. The prophecy of this book. Listen. Those are the ones that's blessed. The ones that's keeping the word of God. Keep reading. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. Keep reading now. And when I had heard and, and when seen, I heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Listen, he fell down at the feet of the angel, which showed him these things. Right? Listen at what happened. Then said he unto Listen, me. Listen. Then said he unto me. See thou do it. See not. thou do it not. That's why we don't bow down to men, because that's idol worship. We don't do that. The angel told John, see thou doest this not. Why? For I am thy fellow servant. Because I'm a fellow servant just like you. Get up. And of thy brother, the prophets. And of them which keep the saying in this book. Worship, worship God. God. Get up. We don't bow down to men. Our father is in heaven. We don't have a holy father here on earth. The Pope is not my God. Jesus Christ ruled in his church. The Pope controlled the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is not the universal church. The Church of God is. That's the church Jesus founded in Acts. Amen. Acts 20 and 28. He said, take heed unto thyselves and to the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the Church of God which he had purchased with his own blood. Amen. Amen. The Church of God is a universal church everywhere. You're born into it. You don't join it. You don't shake hands. You are born and through it through repenting for sin and washed with the blood of Jesus Christ. You are made a son. Amen. Amen. Not on men's road, but on God's. Amen. Amen. Keep reading. And he said unto him. They said that to, Okay, go ahead. Keep reading. And he said unto him, seal not the saints. Seal the not the saints of the prophecy of this, of this book. book. Why? Time, time is at hand. hand. That's why I'm preaching like I'm preaching. Time is at hand. Keep reading. He that is unjust. Listen, he that's unjust. Let him be unjust still. Now keep reading now. Keep reading. He that is filthy. He's filthy. Let him be filthy still. Let him be filthy still. Keep reading. He that is righteous. He that's righteous. Let him be righteous still. Keep reading. And he that is holy. Let him, let him be holy still. Keep reading. And behold. Behold. I come quickly. I come quickly. And my reward is with to me. To gather up all my people to go fight. My reward is with me. To gather all the armies to go fight the battle of Armageddon. That's what he said? My reward is with me. He said what? And behold, I come quickly and my reward my, is with I me. I come quickly and my reward is with me to do what? To give every man. To give every man. According as his work When he come be. back and it's going to be quick and you and I ain't going to know when it is. Whatever condition you in, that's the one you judge in. If you holy, you judge holy. If you righteous, you judge righteous. If you filthy, you judge filthy. Whatever you are, when he come back, that's what you judge as. Well, when do I get right? Now. Right now. Amen. Don't wait. He said, behold, I come quickly. You don't have time. 
There it is. He before you to give you a reward. You can't repent. You're too late. I'm giving you a reward. <laughs> Cast and lay Bind him. Hand and foot. Did we not prophesy? I never saw in the Bible where it, where it ever said someone was going to jump into the lake of fire. Nobody's. See, when you judge and, and, and God and you're going to live, ain't going to be a gangster party. Let me help you out. Mm -hmm. huh? Ain't no gangster heaven. No such thing. And you're going to find out. You should have got saved, but it's too late. Here's your reward. Here's your reward. Thank God for being saved. I want to read that when necessary. Read that one more scripture right there. We I am done. Alpha and Omega. Amen. The beginning and the end, the first and the last. Amen. So we thank God. All right, so God, have me read that one more scripture. Listen, if this is real, what we're doing. Your soul is important to God. He don't want you to be lost. That's why he had me preach you like this. That's why he had me, had me talk about these things. Because he don't want nobody to be lost. The Bible says God is not slack concerning his, his, his promise. Some men count slackness. He's not slack concerning his promise, but he's long-suffering to us, Lord. Not that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. Over there in Acts, I believe the 17th chapter, the, uh, the apostle Paul wrote, amen. There was a time when God winked at men's ignorance, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. There was a time when God winked at our ignorance. He's not winking no more. He's commanding all men everywhere to repent. Amen. We receive salvation. So we thank God for being saved. Amen. I'm open. Amen. Anyone needs to call me, talk to me, email me, whatever. Don't talk about me. Talk to me. Yeah. But you can talk about me if you want to. So, but, but talk to me. Give me a call. Let me know. Amen. God can show mercy and open up your understanding. See, this is real. That's why we got to preach like this, because time is moving on. And we don't have the time we think we have. Look, the reality is, I'm standing here preaching, and I could sit down, and God could just call me home right now. I did what God told me. Amen. Now, I, I had no problem with it. I did what God told me. Matter of fact, goodbye to all y'all. <laughs> Move. Let me, this is what I've been waiting for. This, this is what I've been waiting for, to go be with God. Mm -hmm. Get out of the way. Let me go be with God. That's what I'm fighting so hard for. One day, God will say, my work here on earth is done. Come on. Man. If it be today, thank God. I, I know where I'm going. If it be tomorrow, thank God. I, I, I know how I live. Amen. So we just thank God for being saved. Amen. We're going to have Sister Monica uh, Jones, a devotional leader, coming up and, and, and give the benediction and prayer of salvation. Thank God for being saved. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Get saved today. Thank Amen. God. That was a blessing. That last scripture was really needed. You know, the, the Lord had uh, on my mind, you know, like um, you, you go through life when you're in sin and you're like on a hamster wheel. You know, you're, you're giving all that energy and you're fighting as hard as you can and you're just running around in a circle. But when you get saved, you start plowing fields. You're doing just as much work, but you're actually doing something with the work, Amen. right? Amen. So, you know, the, the, Lord, the Lord was telling me, like, get off that hamster wheel. It's time to start really doing some work. You're giving it all you got. You're giving everything you have. You're working every day. You're, you're working 12-hour, 15-hour shifts. You're working and working and working, and you're not getting nowhere. <laughs> My God. You're not getting anywhere. You have to get off the hamster wheel. Get off the devil's roller coaster. If you want to be Thank successful, God. get saved. Amen. Then you can actually plow some fields and have a harvest. You know? Amen. Thank God. All right, so we are going to go ahead and offer salvation to anybody that has a mind to be saved, anybody that don't want to be rolling on that hamster wheel anymore, anybody that wants to actually produce in Christ. Like, that, our goal is to bring other people Amen. to salvation. Our goal, our job is to bring you to God, to show you what this peace and love and understanding an amazing life is like. This is how you do it. Amen. This is how you get there. 
You open your heart and your mind up to Christ and you get saved today and the Lord will move you forward from there. All right, so if you want to get saved, pray this prayer with me today. Go ahead and bow your head. And dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for those of a mind to be saved, Lord God, those of a heart to turn their lives over to Christ, Lord God. Lord God, I ask that you be with them, Lord God, in a special way, Lord God. Allow them to truly submit their heart to you, Lord God. Lord God, if, you be if they believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins, if they believe that he rose again after three days and gave them power to live a sin-free life in the church of God, then they can be saved. In your precious sons, then we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with me today, then you're saved. You took that first step. You can contact Pastor Robert Juvenere at 562-261-7055. As he said, don't talk about him, talk to him. <laughs> um, our church website is churchofgodinhimit.org. Um, um, you can also contact Pastor Robert Juvenere on the website and um, through whatever other avenues we have on the website that Sister Monique has set up. So we are going to go ahead and conclude our service. Um, I'm going to do the closing prayer today. Um, if you could bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, for a wonderful and a blessed and a spirit-filled service, Lord God. Lord God, the devil is a liar, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to continue to press, continue to fight, Lord God. Continue to know, Lord God, that you do all things well, Lord God. Um, help us, Lord God, to, to keep this through the week, Lord God, and use it to fight against the devil, Lord God. And use it to build us up, Lord God, in the spirit, Lord God, as well as in our natural lives, Lord God. Be with us as we go forward, Lord God. Strengthen our minds, strengthen our hearts, Lord God. Allow our souls and our minds, Lord God, to cling to you, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to, to lean on you in everything that we do, Lord God. Um, Lord God, codependency on the Holy Ghost is a good thing, Lord God. Mm. Help us, Lord God, yes, to Lord. lean on you, Lord God, in everything, in every aspect of our life, Lord God. Be with us, Lord God, as we move forward in life, Lord God. Those that got saved, Lord God, help them, Lord God, to know that's the best decision that they've ever made yes, in their life, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Help them, Lord God, to reach out to the pastor, reach out to the saints, Reach out for understanding of what decision they've made today, Lord God. Help them move forward in their salvation life, Lord God, and be ready yes. to build. Yes, Lord God, I ask that you just be with them in a special way, Lord God. Cover and protect all of us as we go forward throughout the rest of our day, Lord God. As we leave this serving Lord, service, Lord God, but never your presence, Lord God. Be with us in a special way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to go ahead and conclude Amen. our service at this Amen. time. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.